Urinary tract infections or UTI are very common bacterial infections in the UK, typically caused by a bacteria entering the urinary tract through the urethra. And it's estimated that approximately one in three women in the UK will experience a UTI before they're even 24. Now the urinary tract includes the bladder, urethra, kidneys and ureters. UTIs do tend to be more common in women than men because of our anatomy. Women have a shorter urethra than men, which means the bacteria can travel up more easily from the external genitalia to the bladder. And add to this the proximity of the urethra to the anus. Again, it means that there's increased risk of bacterial contamination. UTIs can be a one-off occurrence or they can become recurrent. Research suggests that up to 40% of women who experience a UTI will have at least one more recurrence within a year. The most common symptoms of UTI include frequent and painful urination. You can also have a strong and persistent urge to urinate, a cloudy or foul smelling urine, blood in the urine and pain or pressure in the lower stomach. In more elderly patients, a urinary tract infection can also lead to behavioural changes like confusion. And if there are any concerns that the infection is spread towards the kidneys, you may also develop pain in the flank and more systemic symptoms like flu-like illness and fever. Sex is a common cause of UTIs in women, although men can develop UTIs after sexual activity too. Now, during sex, bacteria from the vaginal area or the anus can enter the urethra causing an infection. Uh, using a condom during sex can help reduce that risk of an infection, but avoid spermicidal lubricated condoms, which can actually increase that risk. Urinating after sex can also help flush out any of that bacteria that may have entered the urethra during sex. Some people can experience mild UTI symptoms that go away by themselves independently, but waiting for a UTI to resolve by itself without treatment is not recommended. And this is because UTIs are caused by bacterial infections that can become more serious if left untreated. They can spread to the kidneys and the bloodstream and need to be addressed promptly. Antibiotics are the most common and effective treatment for UTIs and most symptoms will resolve within a few days of taking them. Cranberry juice is often touted as a natural remedy for UTIs, but actually there's only limited scientific evidence for its effectiveness. In theory, cranberry juice contains compounds called proanthocyanidins, which can prevent bacteria from sticking to the walls of the urinary tract, thus preventing infection. But the evidence supporting this claim is mixed, with some studies showing a benefit and others finding no significant effect. While cranberry juice may not be the cure for a UTI, some people do find it helpful to drink it as part of a broader treatment plan. Drinking plenty of water and other fluids can help flush out the bacteria from the urinary tract. And cranberry juice may be a good option for those that don't like the taste of plain water or who want something to supplement their fluid intake. But be mindful of the fact that cranberry juice is high in sugar and can contribute to other health problems. There are a few measures that one can take to help prevent a UTI from occurring. This can include keeping the genital area clean, though avoiding scented soaps, regularly changing pads and wiping from front to back when you go to the toilet. Wearing looser clothes and sticking to natural breathable fibres may help. And it's also important to stay hydrated, though avoiding sugary drinks and alcoholic drinks. And avoid holding your urine. Fully empty your bladder when you need to go. If you are sexually active, wash the skin around the vagina with water before and after sex and pass urine after sex. Avoid using contraception with spermicidal lubrication on them.